Hey everyone, it's uh, Tim Ria here with Digital Health Live. One of my favorite guests and friends of the family is uh, Christine Robbins, who's the CEO of Body Media. Hi. Hi, Tim. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> so, uh, last time you, uh, you showed us some really cool technology and then some big announcements just happened. Yes, we announced that um, we are having a very successful exit. We're a venture-backed company, so investors are always looking for an exit, and we are in the process of being acquired by Jawbone, a very cool um, lifestyle, you know, health audio um, company, and, and the combined portfolio of products and know-how is going to be really cool. So that's awesome. Uh, exit is always good, and um, so we'll hear about that story as well. Probably have to try to get a second interview just on that story. But today we're talking about sensors uncensored. What happened inside? Yeah. So we, um, you know, as with a couple other folks who, you know, have been in the sensor space for a lo very long time, and, and how we're all building unique business models and 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 things on top of it. And there was a couple interesting insights, you know, and conversations that I think were where the conversation needs to go. It's not yeah. there's an, there's been this plethora of sensors. Coming coming to market devices, whether they're patches or microsensors or something like body media. Um, but the challenge and the opportunity, I think at the same time, is what do you do with all this data? You know, ABI projects that there's going to be something like 80 million sensors next year purchased for consumer purchase only, right? This isn't including the medical applications. This is just direct by consumers. That's a boatload of data. And if you don't do something with the data, if, if we as suppliers of that data, you know, through our sensor devices, don't turn it into meaningful insights and meaningful actions um, that are going to start, you know, changing behavior, you know, getting people to engage in technology differently, it's, it's just going to be data. And it'll be a, a very short curve. So we're just at the eye of the uh, hurricane, and this place is exploding. What's happening? Well, I think what you're seeing is a couple things, a couple trends. Um, you know, the, the intelligence of these sensors um, is really improving. The, the, the grade, the quality um, is improving. I think you're also starting to see partnerships form. Okay. Um, you know, I talked up there on the stage about the fact that I've been in, in Fortune 100 big consumer companies. And in this space, in this healthcare, self-empowerment, sensor-based uh, space, the partnerships are really, you know, that are starting to form are really intriguing and, and almost out of necessity. You know, people that like body media that are really good at the sensors and maybe the intelligence, we're not good at putting that into a final solution that can help, you know, physicians, diabetics, people trying to lose weight. I mean, we need to have those partnerships to have a complete integrated solution for an end user to engage with. What does a company like body media look and look like in maybe five years or, or I mean, what's kind of the future look like in five years in general? Well, I think, you know, you're going to see a couple things. Number one, um, sensors becoming incredibly small, passive, and, and, and even more so integrated than just slipping it on your wrist or slipping it, you know, on your arm in our case. Um, you know, we continue to push the envelope of size, intelligence, the number of sensors. So today we have four sensors. We are launching a fifth sensor. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll talk about that in January. The fifth sense. The fifth sense. Um, maybe six sensors. So, sense, yeah. But, you know, how do you start getting more and more sensors um, to be working in, in collaboration with each other so we can get smarter, more intelligent insights, you know, to physicians, consumers, patients. So this is a question for my friend Swathi who's working on a, a, a health gaming startup. Female startup, some advice. Uh, um, I, you know, I think listen to your consumers. You know, get, get things out there, beta test them. Um, we've always prided ourselves at Body Media around, you know, free living experience is far better than what we can do in a lab. And so, you know, getting your, your initial product proposition in the market, in the hands of some people in the free living, in the wild, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then learn, you know, having this ecosystem and it's set up internally that you can get feedback and quickly iterate and get to a better solution very quickly. And so, um, you know, whether it's software, gaming or hardware, um, you know, so for instance, all of our hardware is field upgradable and has been, you know, for 14 years. And so, you know, we have things we want to push. We can do that, you know, immediately. Um, and uh, last question is, what types of folks are you trying to meet here at the Digital Health Summit? Partners. Yeah. You know, always looking for, um, you know, we have a vision, and, and especially with this acquisition, of, of being able to provide a platform of products that's going to be able to serve a number of different needs. And, 
you know, I talk about diabetes. We've talked about that for a long time. We as, as a company have, have experimented and done some pilot studies, but to really commercialize it and make it big, that's not Body Media's, you know, that's not our forte. Um, but we're looking for partners, the right partners, to put together a great kind of headbanging solution that can change the way some of these, you know, conditions, health conditions are managed for people. Great. Well, hey, that's Christine Robbins, Body Media, soon to be. Soon to be Check it out. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thank Tim. you.